The Prime Minister has already said a long-term funding plan is being drawn up after criticisms uh, that uh, not enough money had been spent on the NHS. And now there's been this contribution to the debate by these two think tanks uh, with the NHS Confederation. And what they're saying is over the next years through until the early 2030s, you need 3.3% extra on spending on health across the UK. That is, just to maintain services as they are, never mind improve them. And uh, that compares with increases uh, from 2010 for the first four or five years uh, under the coalition of just 1%. So big increases just to keep things as they are. If you want to improve things and bring down waiting lists, improve mental health and so on, you need to spend 4% a year over the next decade and beyond. And, and this is the debate going on in Whitehall at the moment. And, and in real terms, that would be about £2,000 extra on annual household taxes, a huge amount. Yes, well, what these think tanks are saying is it, it's equivalent to about 40 billion extra in real terms per year if you just want to keep the status quo uh, 15 years down the line or 60 billion if you want to improve things. Translated, if you're going to have to pay that from taxation, that's 1,200 a year on the average household bill just to keep things as they are, 2,000 if you want to improve things per year for the average household. Now, what these think tanks are saying is it has to come from somewhere. Uh, you can't go on borrowing the money. Uh, so, therefore, it has to be taxation. So, they're saying it's inevitable. It's not just income tax and national insurance. It's VAT and other taxation. Households will obviously be better off in 15 years' time if the economy keeps growing. But if you want a better NHS, they're saying it has to come from somewhere. There needs to be more money, and that's taxation. And I'm imagining the Health Secretary and the Prime Minister won't, won't just say, oh, all right, then. Well, this debate, uh, we, we understand, involves the Treasury probably wanting to keep increases to 2% a year or thereabouts. That's roughly what the spending is per year at the moment, uh, extra on health. And the NHS very keen for the 4% because they're saying, look, if you want to improve things and bring down waiting times, it's got to be that 4% figure. So a lot of uh, toing and froing between mm. the Treasury, the Department of Health and Social Care, and Downing Street to get this right. But the view today in this authoritative report is these are big numbers. That's what's required uh, to have a better NHS. Thank you, Hugh.